Hey there, we're just gonna get started soon. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the drip bleaching if you're interested in checking it out. Thanks for sending the likes. I appreciate it. That will definitely push it out, um, the live out. I'm going to get started because I know that the people that are on here um, want to see it. So let me just move that out of the way. All right, so we have the... Um, the skeleton sweatshirts that I do the drips going down the side of it. Um, I use the painter tape to, to put in the middle of it to kind of like guide me. It won't stop the like bleach from spreading. It will still spread a little bit underneath of it, but that's okay. That's kind of why I put the tape a little bit more over top of the hand of the skeleton and not directly down the center. Cause then when we pull that tape off, we'll kind of, um, you know, merge everything together with a line. And then um, the, the, these are the spray bottles that I use. I like using these because you need to make sure that you flush the nozzle out after you're done bleaching. Um, and these spray bottles have lids. So when you take this off and flush it with water and then spray it, make sure there's no more water in it. You can put a lid on it to keep it separate so you can prolong um, your spray bottles. These are linked in my Amazon storefront. If you wanted to check it out, you can buy one, or I think there's like a two pack. They also have replacement nozzles. So obviously over time, the bleach will um, corrode the spray bottle nozzle. And then you'll just be able to buy just the replacements and you don't have to buy an entire, you know, new spray bottle. And it's glass, so um, the bleach stores very well inside of the glass bottle. <clears throat> Now, obviously, like I'm showing you how I make this sweatshirt, but you can kind of do your own twist on things. Um, it's, I have 100% bleach that's in here. It's not diluted. Um, that's one of the questions that I always get. This sweatshirt's also linked to my Amazon storefront, so you can see um, the brand, the color name, and the color, the, um, like the number to the sweatshirt, so you know exactly which one to get that will bleach um, to white. Um, I prefer having the sun over the heat because the sun is what really bleaches um, it to white. If you don't have, if it's shaded, it just takes a little bit longer to bleach. So I have this hanging up on one of those um, portable clothing racks with um, clamps. Um, I've also hook, um, hung them up on the, like my back of my fence. I don't know if you can see back there, but it's like a metal fence. I just hang it up back there. I also have a cardboard box um, behind it just so, because you're going to have a lot of like drippage um, to save as much as you can on the grass and to um, minimize splatter, um, you know, on wherever. So <clears throat> what I'm doing is I have the stream spray selected on my spray bottle. And the key to this is when you spray it, you don't want to just like full force spray it onto the sweatshirt. You want like little slow half pumps. And then um, also see how it's pretty, it's a little bit windy out here. If it's windy, you wanna make sure that the wind is blowing it like towards you because that actually helps if the sweatshirt is like moving towards you that the drips will follow down the sweatshirt. And if it doesn't follow down the sweatshirt, I'll, um, I'll show you exactly what you can do to get it to drip all the way down <clears throat> and also with this you're going to have excessive not excessive but more bleach 
Um, so just watch your hands and I always recommend wearing gloves. You can always wear um, like safety goggles too if you're not that comfortable using bleach or even being close to the sweatshirt um, using bleach. But definitely I just I cannot stand the, the feel of bleach on my hands. So and then also if anybody has any questions just put them in the comments and then when I take you know a break I'll see if anybody has any questions and then um, I can answer them uh, as we go. And also I have a broke like a broken down cardboard box in between it and that will also help to guide the bleach going down the sweatshirt because if it was just just nothing in there it would it would hit whatever the next bump is and then it would it would just fly off the sweatshirt the bleach would so I'll go ahead and get get started here and also if it's at an angle that helps to let it drip and that's why you'll get bleach on your hand is because where you're holding it that's where the bleach will gravitate towards so or you can hold it farther back I mean it's really trial and error. It took me a while to like kind of get a good technique down, um, which is why I've decided to share it because obviously if I shared it in the beginning, it would, it would look like shit. So um, a lot of trial and error. So I'm doing like sh slow, slow squirts and even like a half of a squirt. And obviously I'm using this spray bottle. So this could be this, what you're doing could be different on any other spray bottle that you're using so just be mindful but i'm using the stream um sprayer of this spray bottle so i have it tilted a little bit towards me because that helps when you get towards the bottom see how it kind of like bunches up when it hits a bump sometimes it'll just come right off the sweatshirt and then you'll have a, a drip that's halfway which is cool because um, you know, it gives a, a interesting effect, but, um, I usually pull at least at this. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. <clears throat> I pull at the base of the sweatshirt to kind of make it a little taut and then do it again. And it doesn't matter if you start at the top or the bottom. And the cool part is with these sweatshirts is that like yesterday I made like 20 of them. Um, the majority of them I made live or the other day, not yesterday, but the majority of them I made live and they all looked different. Also, if you spray it, it will follow the track of the last um, like bleach drip. So if you keep spraying in that same bleach drip, obviously you're adding more bleach to that one and then it's just going to be like a larger stream right there so i would say probably the best as you can just do the half a pump let it drip and then you'll see we'll go back and like hit any spots that may have like stopped um the gildan yes dark heather i also have it linked in my amazon so you can see exactly which one because i know there's a few different variations <clears throat> and you can you know move around whatever is makes sense to you you can also put your hand in between like the back of the sweatshirt and the box to kind of guide it I'm also like when I spray it I kind of spray it at an angle slow and like a half a pump so when you get to let me see if I can move this back down so you can see the so when you get to the arm part, that's where it gets a little tricky for it to, to have enough bleach to go all the way down to hit the sleeve. So I have a couple of techniques that I use where I, I hit it again at the seam. So if I have to add drips, I'll always add it at the seam um, just to give it more of like a cohesive look. So you're not just like randomly spraying the middle of the sweatshirt and letting it drip. But if that's the style that you are going for, um, then go ahead and do that. I have um, I have quite a few orders for this one, so I kind of have to, I can't really go off track, you know, with what I have listed on my website. 
And then also, um, since you're on my live, if you're interested in, in my, this sweatshirt or anything on my website, you can use a discount code UROCK and then that will save you a little bit of money too. <clears throat> so I'm just hitting any of the spots that are need a little bit more. And then also be careful because if you're spraying it and the wind blows and the, the bleach hasn't absorbed into the sweatshirt yet, it'll pop off of the sweatshirt and it could like, see like that, like it could pop off and, and hit you in the face. So um, you could also maybe like clamp the bottom of the sweatshirt um, to something just to keep it, you know, from blowing around. But what you don't want is this sleeve to like lay on something else because then you'll get bleach marks on um, on that uh, section of the sweatshirt. So <clears throat> also the wind can help you. Like if it's blowing, then you can spray it and it should catch the bottom of the sweatshirt. So I'm just gonna try and, and then you kind of try and like aim it to where you want it. And then, so I got some good drips down the sleeve, but I still have some kind of open areas. And when I'm doing the, the sleeve at the crease, I kind of want it to wait um, for the wind to stop a little bit. So we don't, so it doesn't look funky. So I just sprayed that one and it ended up connecting with the other drip and following down that drip. So that tends to happen a lot. Once it finds that other like wet spot, then it'll essentially like attach it to it. And this is really all like your creative vision of what you want it to look like. Um, you know, if anybody makes it, it would be great if you could tag me because um, obviously like I personally have not seen this um, which is why I kind of like share it and obviously like I didn't tag anybody um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has done this but I have not I personally haven't seen it so then we have like the cuff right so the cuff really doesn't have anything on it and I'm just spraying at the seam. So I always wanna start with the seam if I'm adding something that it's not coming from the actual drips from above because it gives it more like cohesiveness. Cause like essentially wherever you spray, it's going to have, um, it's going to have like a, the dot where you spray it. And that's also why I use this blue tape because then you don't have that distinct like round dot and then a drip because wherever you spray that's where most of it's going to get it yes yeah, so this will bleach to white um so what i was doing the other day when i had like 15 or 20 of them that i was doing i would angle this into the sunlight and then start working on another sweatshirt so what this this sweatshirt specifically is we're doing the drips on this side and then we're gonna do the same drips on the other side of the sweatshirt. So it's, it's like a cohesiveness. And then on the top part, I do bleach splatters. So when I'm done with the drips, then we're gonna bleach behind the black skeleton to like make it pop. Um, and even though um, I tend to do my drips first to make sure I like what I see and I'm just like trying to talk and look at it myself because I'm this is why these sweatshirts take me so long they probably take me over probably like two and a half hours to do um, because obviously you're doing each drip one by one and then the splatters that I do with my um, uh, with my spray bottle those drips are one by one that I do so and then I'll show you again, cause I know there's a few more people in. These are the spray bottles that I use. They're linked in my Amazon. 
Um, if you're bleaching, you should always um, flush out the nozzles to prolong the life of the spray bottle nozzle. Um, and then these have uh, caps on them. So you can take the spray bottle nozzle off, flush it, and put the cap on it. And it's glass, so it'll, it'll last long within, you know, um, obviously just keep it up out of reach of children just like anything else um so like down here so we have like really cool drip effects but then I have some area right here that there's no drips there and so what I'll do is I'll try and follow another drip and see if I can get it to drip a little bit farther and like I said be careful if you're getting bleach on your hands they have like a paper towel nearby um, because if you're like touching it, you're going to get bleach, you know, fingerprints or handprints. So I'm just lightly, just like little tiny. And you can also move the sweatshirt for like it to go, um, for it to go down that. So we're doing the drips first and then we're going to do the skeleton next. I always do the drips first. To make sure I see what I like because we'll have more drips when we do the skeleton part. So I just want to hit one more here and then we'll do the skeleton. And sometimes see like it hit a bump so it like didn't even, it didn't even go down the sweatshirt. Alright, so I think we're... I could literally stare at it all day and be like, oh, I need to add something over here, over there, whatever. Okay. So now I'm going to, let me just see if there's any. Oh yeah. Tap, tap the screen. That really helps out too. It kind of like pushes, pushes it out to people that might not, um, see the notification. So I have not used a dropper. I used a, um, uh, like a condiment bottle. And in my video that's on my page, so make sure you follow me so then you can go back and see it. It's pinned um, at the top of my um, my page. That's the first thing that I did was use the condiment bottle. And um, the it, it's almost like too much bleach came out. I couldn't really like control it. And it was like thick, like, the, like that one, if you can see it towards the end, like real thick lines. I personally prefer the thinner lines um, in this look and obviously everybody's different so you know you could try a condiment bottle or or even like um, like a dropper that'd be really cool um, people have also um, you know I've done I was on a I did a live yesterday where I did um, drips on the hoodie on a hoodie like all over the hoodie so straight up and down um, and that was really cool so I'll post the video later today of that finished that finished hoodie. Um, so thank you for um, dang it's at almost three thousand likes. That's crazy. I was excited to have like two thousand last night, and that was at like one in the morning. All right, so now I just hope this storm passes. I don't know if you can see up there, but so now. Now that we have the drips where we want it, and obviously it's going to go quicker, like, because I'm stopping and explaining things, yada, yada, whatever. So we're going to spray. We have, like, the spray part, not the stream. We're just going to spray. I like to follow the um, actual skeleton and then let it drip, too, so it's more of, like, um, you know, it's dripping into the sweatshirt, too. And that's why I like these spray bottles because, like, when you spray and continue, it has a good clean line. And it has a good after, um, like, outer spray. Now, you could do, like, the whole skeleton, um, which sometimes the bleach will spread. But I do like the variation between we're going to do a line here and then the skeleton so 
And obviously, you know, if you've been bleaching, you know this, that wherever you spray, it's gonna end up spreading. So just be mindful of where you're spraying, how much you're spraying. The more you spray, the more it'll spread, the more it'll spread and, and drip. So see, you, um, you can see there's a couple drips that happened from where I sprayed it. But I don't want it to spread too much, so I didn't want to spray a lot there. <clears throat> But you see there's a, the color variation now between my first drips and then what I sprayed. When this sits in the sun, everything will, will bleach the same color. So, which that's really nice that it'll, you don't have like that variation. And you're essentially not too rushed like this. You don't want this to happen. Because if that were to flip over and stay on the screen print with the bleach on it, because it won't soak into the screen print. So you'll have like a bleach mark on that sleeve that's happened more than I want to admit, but let me see if I can. I'm just gonna move this down. So I'm just clamping that. If I had this on the ground, I would probably have like rocks on the sleeves to just hold it down to make sure that, you know, you don't have that where the sleeve flips over. I have a sweatshirt that I do. It's um, it's a skeleton and it says um, dead inside but um, caffeinated. And I bleached the entire center of the sweatshirt. And I've had that too many times where the sweatshirt flipped over, the sleeve switched flipped over on it, and it made like, you know, the bleach marks on the sleeve. But... Um, the other thing, let me think, I was going to say something else. Oh, these are screen prints. The screen prints are also linked in my profile. They're um, from Tease Me Boutique. If you use that link that's in, my, um, that's in my bio, you'll get a discount code to try her out. Um, she's the only one that I'll bleach over top the screen prints because she has a really high quality screen print. Um, and I mean, you could try other screen prints, but you never know if the bleach will discolor, um, the bleach will discolor the screen print and you obviously don't want that to happen. So I just wish it was a little bit sunnier. So it's not, it's sunny, but it's cloudy. Um, you know, it'll still bleach. It'll just take some time to bleach. So since it's like. Normally I would then lay this out or, you know, um, point it in so the sun's directly hitting it. But I think what we can do is, let me think. We could probably spray the, um, do the drips on the other side maybe. Because normally I would have like a few of these, but I'm just waiting on um, more supplies to come in to make the rest of my orders. Let's see what people are saying in here. Oh, I could, I could do, um, Halloween stuff all year long. I love Halloween. What I need to know is what's everyone's, like, scariest movie. Because I'm, like, such a baby with scary movies. I think there was another question. Um, so when I'm done bleaching it, I'll wash it in, in cold water um, with a little bit of detergent. And I also have that noted in like the listing so people know that I do wash it. Um, obviously you have to because it's bleach, um, but it's kind of what I do. I'm trying to think, because normally I think if I flip it, this part will get hit by the sun on the other side. I just don't want this. Oh, and then see how that one, that one second, the bleach hit the um, sweatshirt. I have like little spots here, but that's okay. Cause when we do that side of the sweatshirt, we can, um, we can fix that. I 
just want to be careful, especially if it's... And when it's hot out, too, that definitely helps. Makes it easier that it's half the sweatshirt of the drips so you can kind of keep the stuff out of the way. I definitely don't want this sleeve to get in there again. So I'm just using these little like clamp clips. They're plastic um, just because I had them on hand. So. <clears throat> So maybe I can just do this to try and keep it from. All right. Um, this is 100% bleach that I'm using. Glass spray, spray bottle. Always flush the nozzles. This bottle has a lid on it that you can just store it and keep this separate from this because that's what is essentially corroding the spray bottles. Your, it's getting splotchy. What um, sweatshirt brand and color are you using? And are you using Clorox bleach? Also, don't use the splashless bleach. Um, there's almost 7,000 likes in this. Holy moly. That's insane. I'm going to have to screen I'm going to screenshot that before I get off. So thank you. I really appreciate everyone that's like literally like you can like super tap the screen. I usually do that in um people's lives that I'm in. I like you know what is it called like spamming hearts. <laughs> I spam heart them. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So I flipped it over. I'm going to do the other side. Um, let's hope, hopefully we can beat this storm here. So the back of the side, the back part, I'm going to do the same exact process, but, um, when I take the tape off, I'm not going to do the line because I only, I personally prefer the line on the front. So it's just strange. I mean, you know, you'll just, You'll, you'll get your own groove of what you like and, but just be prepared to, you know, make some sweatshirts for yourself if you mess it up, you know, but like there's some, some that I, um, I thought I messed it up and had it at my vendor show and it was like the first thing that sold. So, I mean, you never know, like I'm super critical of myself and my art. So, um, and bleaching sweatshirts is art. So, um, it's not just like, oh, you're splashing some bleach on it. There's a lot of thought, you know, anything, any type of bleaching that you do, you, there's tons of thought into it. Um, what color? Yes. The colors do matter. Um, there's a Facebook group called bleacher bleaches be crazy. Like B L E A C H E S B E C R A Z Y. Join that Facebook group and then when you get accepted, search Swatch. There's people that have all different brands and they swatch the little samples that they get with bleach so you can see which colors bleach to white. Some colors bleach to gray, some colors don't bleach at all. Different brands bleach differently. So um, you always want to bleach on a mixture um, fabric like 50 50 cotton poly 60 40 no stop it oh <gasps> that is insane holy crap that's crazy I'm like I'm just like floored right now that people actually are like would want to watch me <laughs> bleach so whatever um that is, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to keep going before I, people are, you know, are like, all right, I'm not listening to her anymore. <clears throat> all right, so, and I'll, I'll try and get, get to your comments too. Um, and that's what I like. I like sh sharing what I've learned because I did a lot of research too and trial and error. So 
We'll see. All right, let me move this. I keep getting notifications. All right, so I'm doing slow half pumps. Also, you can grab the end of the cuff and kind of like tilt it towards you and do your slow. And if you see that it's like almost making it down to the bottom of the sweatshirt, just give another half of a pump and then it'll push it and follow that same drip. So that's probably one of like, that's a really, really good drip. <laughs> I'm proud of that drip right there. And the hard part is, is like when I make these sweatshirts and something cool happens, I want to keep it, but um, I'm, you know, making it for an order, so I can't keep it. And I haven't even made one of these yet because I have so many orders that it's insane. But, um, you know, if you're on the live right now and you're interested, a lot of people want to try it or they just want to buy it because they're like, yeah, there's no way I could do that or have the patience to do it. Um, you can use the code you rock on my website and that will um, give you a discount. Also, the um, it says pre-order right now, two to three weeks. That's just a buffer. So to make sure I, I don't want to like overcommit. I have three kids. You know, I don't want to take away a lot of the time the free time that I have to um you know spend time with them so I just try and be mindful of that um I never thought that like this type of like technique would um you know because the video kind of went like semi-viral um not like super viral not like millions of go into low battery mode so if the live ends it's because my battery died on my outside so I'll try and go quick so you guys can see the rest of this and then I'm just trying to tighten pull the bottom of the sweatshirt a little tighter just to get that sh you know that line to go down because it bunches up towards the bottom because of the cuff of the base and then I like it in the um, the bottom of the, I don't even know what that's called, I forget, but the ter specific terminology. So this one had like a little like bump in it. I kind of just followed it. And then also if you want um, like more like distinctions between like, you know, shorter ones, just do like not even like a half of a half of a pump. And then you can get like, cause it's like just based on how much, you know, bleach you're applying and you know, the gravity or whatever. So, or if you get like a little drip then you can kind of like tap it just to give it a little mm. but do you see how I'm like uh, literally spending so much time it's one sweatshirt you know <clears throat> I probably don't um, list them for enough based on how much time I actually spend on everyone because I do the front and the back of these drips and then I do the whole other side, front and back, with the, um, like, the splatters. So, so you can see on this, this sleeve right here, um, there's a pretty big, like, spot that's open. Um, and really nothing on the cuff of the sleeve here. So I'm just going to try and, and you can kind of, like, guide it. And then I'm actually, there's like this little spot right here. I'm gonna feed off of that spot to try and hit this area here. So you see it kind of like filled up that, that little spot here. I'm just gonna make sure I don't have bleach on my hands before I touch the back of the sweatshirt. You can just like, I'm literally like, it's on my arm here. You can like guide it. So on the cuffs, I'm just trying to start at the um, 
the um, the seam and do it at the seam. So let's see here. But yeah, to whoever said about the patience, you need to have a lot of patience for this because, like, there's times I was like, oh, forget it. Why did I decide to make these? <laughs> so. Um, oh, I didn't scroll up. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I've only, um, I've only, uh, went live a few times. 650 likes. Also, like, my top people that are on here, um, every live I go through and, like, blast, um, your page with love, so... Um, I literally take like an hour after each live and hit like the top people. That is insane. Like you guys are crazy. I'm like seriously like awe, in awe right now. Because I when, when I'm able to like go live, it's like when, you know, my kids are napping. You know, and that's like, it's rare when I can actually go live. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to do one more here. See, and then it just like, it followed to where my hand was. And um, I got bleach on my hand. My husband hates it because I wipe my hands in the grass. <laughs> He's like, you're killing my grass. I'm like, whatever. So does anybody have any questions? I'm telling you, if this goes up to like 20,000 likes, I'm going to, I can't, I don't know if I can swear on here, but I would literally like S-H-I-T myself. Yes, make sure you follow me because then um, I'm posting the video of the hoodie that I did on live yesterday. It is sick. So, like, and usually when I do, like, lives, too, I'll kind of get input of whoever's on. And there's usually, like, two or three people on. Not, like, 300 right now. But, um, I, uh, <clears throat> I usually get input from whoever's on the live to, like, you know, see what they want to see. And so I think, um, for, like, future lives, I might have, like, a blank sweatshirt and we can all do something together. Like... Um, like maybe I'll put a print on it and then we can decide a like bleaching technique because I have a couple different um, techniques that I like to use when I bleach. So. so I think what I can do next, because I think I'm pretty happy with this one. So let me show you the other. So if you can see. See, so it's already turn, starting to turn. Which is good. And then also the cool thing is, is like the color variations of each like bleach. And you see when I sprayed the skeleton, it had like, because the wind was blowing, it has this like off spritz spray. I don't know how to explain it, but let me see if I can get closer. So I can't, let me see where's my phone at. So that's that way. So there's like little tiny spritzers and that's why I really like the spray bottle too. Um, is that it has a really good effect like of just spraying the, it, like if you were to just spray a pattern, not necessarily do the drip, uh, hold on, let me get a drink of water real quick. Is anybody else obsessed with Starbucks tumblers? I have way too many. And like when new ones come out, I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. Like how do they have this like choke hold on me of Starbucks cups? I don't get it. 
I love them. Starbucks cups. I love Starbucks. Well, I don't like coffee. I like strawberry refreshers. So I'm trying to think of how I can... Okay, I think I'm going to lay this on the floor, on the ground, and then I'll try and hold my phone while I do the drips on the other side so you can kind of see that. And plus, I want to try and take advantage of the sun that's out. <clears throat> All right, I was learning stuff on my live last night. Hold on, let me try and get in the shade so I can see. Okay, so I think I know how to... Oh, 24,000 likes? That is insane. Um, the spray... Oh, there's a spider web. Oh, God, I hate spider webs. Um, the spray bottle is linked in my Amazon storefront. It's a glass bottle. Um, it's always good to um, switch out the... Um, to flush the nozzle and keep the nozzle out of the bleach that's in the bottle. It has a lid on it, so you can do the lid and not have to have the spray nozzle attached to it. Um, and then they have a, a replacement nozzle, so because eventually the bleach will corrode the spray bottle. So the screen prints that I use are Tease Me Boutique. They're in my, I just wanna make sure I'm not blocking my the sound. They're in my bio. Um, if you use my link, you can, it'll have a discount that you can like try her out. Those are the only ones that I've been able to spray over top of that they don't, the bleach doesn't distort the screen print. Um, she uses, a, like I talked to her, she uses a really high quality screen print and like 98% of my screen prints are from her. Unless if there's like a design that she's not carrying that somebody else is carrying, then that's the only time that I'll ever purchase outside of her and she literally ships same day it's insane like and she's like a one man one man band so all right let me see i'm gonna try and i think i can do settings and then switch the camera i think hold on no dang it i'm trying to figure this out I found it yesterday and I was like, oh, that's a good idea to, that's where I need to switch the camera. Comment settings. Does anybody know how to, to flip the camera on live? Oh yeah, she's awesome. Is it enhance? Oh, wait. Flip camera. There we go. All right, this should help. Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> all right so funny story is before I learned how to flush the spray bottles one of my spray bottles nozzles got corroded as all of them do over time um, I just been able to prolong it now so I have I got the two pack of the bottles actually I got two two packs because I keep um I spritz it with peroxide after I sublimate because it'll turn the bleach yellow. I really don't like sublimating. Okay, so my signature um, that I like to do on almost all of my sweatshirts is bleaching the cuff. So I'm just taking... We're just going to spritz on the cuff real quick. So anyway, so the spray bottle that's actually is broken is the one that works the best on the drips that I use. So we're going to look at. See, that's like such, those are such good drips right there. So, and it helps that the cardboard helps splatter it. So I'm going to do these real quick because I don't want my phone to die, but I want you guys to see it because... Once it dies, it's gonna, like, literally, I have an iPhone 8, you guys. Like, I'm like, I need to get, 
I was supposed to get a new one for my birthday and I kept procrastinating because I don't know why. I just hate having to spend like so much money on fo a phone. And, and, um, that I have to, when I change to the like better iPhone, I have, I have to like upgrade my plan.